Hello, Namaste, and welcome in the series of cyber security. This side is Meena, and today I will discuss about what is web application security architect. When we just talk about web application or the web app, that means we are having number of web apps for performing different different tasks. Okay, for accessing different different websites. So these web apps continuously increasing uh, every day, every year, we can say. Okay. So uh, if those uh, uh, applications are not secure, then definitely uh, hackers will use to perform attack on a uh, web server, and they can steal a lot of information. Uh, which stored on in the database of that particular company and can damage a lot. So, what exactly is the web application security and what are the uh, point we should consider in today's session? I will just discuss about it. And let's start today's session. You can see here there are number of uh, web applications, whether that's uh, related to Facebook, okay related to access uh, uh, photos or uh, related to access to create uh, uh, any uh, audio video or uh, to accessing our uh, whatsapp or making call video recording video calling um, accessing uh, uh, number of uh, analytic data music load many tasks we can perform with uh, web apps okay and here is if some uh, this industry I, I actually we can say it every day it's in lot of applications are under the development and uh, ha even hackers are also developing web app where uh, uh, they can also uh, use to steal the information so when we uh, are accessing any app then that means we should be uh, sure enough yes what exactly this is and whether that's from uh, a reputed company or if it's having the proper security or not so what should uh, the, the security arch architecture for a web application if we just saw this uh, particular picture you can see here uh, there is a app app here here and that is uh, uh, stored on a web server clear which uh, uh, interacting with the users the, here is the web browser where the client will in, uh, interact uh, the app and the data what's the data uh, we have uh, whether that's collected from the user or uh, that's related to our web app that's stored on a database so there are number of point this is not like one point where the attack will happen there are number of point where the where the attack will happen so what should be a web application security architect let's start from here when we are allowing to access the users the web browser whatsoever we are using that must be secure enough it should not have any kind of vulnerabilities because hacker can use the vulnerability that start from the web browser okay they can uh, uh, perform attack uh, on the vulnerabilities on the web browser and then they can attack on other uh, pieces as well so uh, when we are uh, allowing only authenticate users should be have access on the web app say for example we are accessing facebook that's also web app okay so uh, when we access web uh, facebook that means we need to provide a credential and over there the protocol that's HTTPS will work to encrypt the data and they will also ask for username and password if we have the dual authentication definitely they will ask the we can say code that's sent on our email or on phone okay so protection will start from at that point and uh, we ha should have uh, web based application as well which will filter the traffic or access uh, is there any kind of uh, data that can damage to our database that, uh, uh, even there can be some fake entries uh, on, on the database or if uh, if the hacker will send uh, uh, the input to our database we must also filter it whether that's sanitized or not 
so proper uh, monitoring of the data that's provided through the browser by the user which is legitimate or not so that's and is there any kind of dos attack or any kind of uh, uh, sql injection attack will be there so the uh, firewall will filter all this yeah and a lot of manipulations can also happen here so we need a security model at that clear this is the side where we are uh, clear demarcation yes we are giving outside world interaction to our property to our web app okay but at the time of uh, developing the website it's, it's called secure devops okay so uh, it should be included at the time of the design even at the time of uh, 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 development and at the time of uh, operation as well the security is not the concern at the time of uh, first we will develop it and everything and then we will implement the security and we'll test whether that's perform or not no security should be at every level level at every point then we can make the sec uh, uh, really secure uh, uh, network secure infrastructure otherwise hacker will find a small uh, loophole from where they can enter and can crash our all completes clear okay so our web application where we are designing it should be at that security level should be set at the designing time whether our security at that place or not we need to check by auditing by logging at activity by transactions is happening whether that's uh, uh, clear or not whether that's uh, correctly it's working or not and definitely when uh, some we are giving to a uh, higher level of uh, up, uh, we can say uh, right to perform any modification then at that point the user must have the really very different or advanced or the privileged access right on uh, accessing those uh, facilities or features clear so and when we established our app on a web server our web server we must be that's fully passed fully the uh, what applications we will run which services we are going to run on the web server it must be secure so authorized person only have a, a, a right to access it so that is also must be secure and this is really very very important piece of uh, information or we can say here all hackers because uh, uh, hackers want to steal the information which is on database okay, that that is having the valuable information it's like wallet of our uh, uh, bank it's uh, everywhere uh, uh, the every valuable information stored on the database so we cannot leave it open or vulnerable to for hackers so that they can perform attack so whatsoever the uh, vulnerability that exist we must uh, find out on the internet or uh, on the, on the websites where they are providing us this is the security tools you can check the security of your database okay is there any kind of uh, vulnerability exist or not just each and everything should be at that level so the security at this level as well otherwise Hackers will perform lot of attack on our data. They can add fake entries. They can modify. They can delete. They can do anything. Yeah. So lot of attacks can be happen at different different level. Security should be at 360 level the degree level. Otherwise, we cannot secure our network or our webs or our web security. Yeah. So uh, when we are just think a security in terms. We must be able to understand yes the security need at every point. Okay, so follow me on the cybersecurity prism and get the notification for the next interesting and informative session. Also share that session with your friends and group members as well, so that you will be able to help them to understand what exactly web application security architecture and uh, how, where are the points uh, they need to secure. Okay, and how the hackers even can attack on different different points and what's the important of different components of the web application okay and in the next session i will discuss about 
a malware kill antivirus and encrypt windows system file namaste see you in the next session